My name is Rob Fleming. I'm the MLA for Victoria Swan Lake, and I work with the official opposition as the environment critic. And uh, I've been a legislator since 2005, so for the past six years, and represent uh, a large, a fairly large constituency in Victoria that encompasses part of Saanich and part of the city of Victoria. I think what inspires me is the people I get to work with. I'm very passionate about a number of areas uh, that, that politics involves. I started in municipal government. I've always uh, cared about some of the challenges that my community faces and, and, and others in the province. You know, being an MLA is sometimes about being outspoken and getting justice done for people. So uh, that's really important. It's, not, it's something that I don't shy away from and, uh, and I think that's really rewarding too when you, um, when, when you help somebody um, get treated the way they should be treated and uh, you know, help them have dignity and uh, uh, respect uh, in their lives. Um, there's no replacement for that. I think what I remember about Camos and my wife does too is the excellence in teaching and instruction that we got uh, at Camos at College. Uh, it came as no surprise to me because my father worked in BC's community college system so I think people in BC understand that our community colleges are synonymous with excellence and, uh, and quality and um, skilled uh, personnel and, and, and good administration and good diversity of programs and uh, we just we had a lot of uh, good times at Camosun. It was a very active period of time. Uh, I was very active in the student union and uh, I can remember things like uh, 1995 we had the first national student strike in, in Canadian history I think since the late 60s. So. Um, if you went back and looked at the pictures around the rotunda at Camosun College, you would have seen thousands of students at rallies. And that was really when the shift of cost to education was beginning to be put onto students and families and the balance between what government invested in students to uh, pursue their education and give back in their, in their careers. That, that social contract was starting to be eroded. So credit to Camosun students, they didn't take it lying down, they got active, they spoke up and uh, I was really proud that Camosun was probably one of the most active campuses in, in, in the entire province at that time.